Good morning, everyone. Stripe Gal. And we are heading into the final dungeon of Cthulhu Saves the World. Did a little bit of a grind uh, before we're headed into Relay. Um, so we're down to 35 battles and all of our characters are level 38. That was at the end of the last video. Highlights if you are missing that. And I think we're just going to start exploring. There's a, this is apparently a pretty sizable dungeon. So. Um. We're just going to get started on it. Start exploring. I'm not expecting to beat the game today, but we'll see. Uh, a lot of these fights take a long time. So I am suspecting that we are going to be grinding through this. <laughs> there are also a bunch of treasure chests here. So this is significantly better in every regard. This is, uh, not too bad, as far as encounters go. Flood, Tentacles, Berserk, Void. Uh, real quick to mention, in case people did not watch this thing at the end, I did switch over to the Volcanic Tome for October, which I picked up. Um, I need to probably switch this over to Poison if I'm in a boss fight? Maybe? But honestly, Volcanic Tome is still really good, <laughs> so... Um, I feel like both are pretty relevant. I'm a little annoyed because it seems like I went the right way immediately. And this is the fight I did not want. Although that was not as bad as I remember it being. Waste to turn healing? No. It actually looks like we're in pretty good shape here. Level up for Ember. Strength Vitality. Oh, maybe the green lights are not the correct path anymore? No, no. Does look like it might be still. 
was going to say, they're just kind of everywhere. Let's actually just do a drain strike. We're low enough, or they're low enough, rather, that we can probably get by. I was wrong. Um, I really don't want to waste the one one-up I have. So I guess we are trying again and saving more often. I didn't actually check but let's make sure there's no treasure chest outside here. Also, just want to say I really like this music. This is not the way I went last time. We're just going to do a little exploring because there is a treasure chest I missed. At least one. One that I know about. Yeah, like that. So, this one, I'm a little torn on. But it feels like it's gotta be better. I mean, statistically, it is better in every regard. Um, but that means that we have to make whatever we're fighting insane for him to get the bonus. to uh, heal all, put the top off on uh, Cthulhu since he's so low, and a boy. Ember is now 40, we already did that. Interesting. So I'm not sure what the red torches represent here.
This seems promising. We're trying. I'm trying to back or trying to find a sideways route to get back to. Oh, these are the knights, aren't they? I think we still win. Yeah. Without having to waste an item for time healing. So if we're driving things insane right away, Chaos Trident is technically better. This is not great. I mean, this is working pretty well, which I'm a little surprised at, but we'll take it. I'm not sure exactly what those guys are beyond giving a ton of gold, but we'll take it. Uh, pause is now 39. I think we're just going stat increases again. Pause is still my worst character by a pretty big margin, I would say. And it's not because they are, like, having... They're not bad. They're just not good at anything. Uh, if that makes sense. Tulu, extra 50% boost to dark, yes. Cute pose, double stats, if combo is above 25. Or 50% boost that you don't have to get the combo up first. Huh. I feel like I don't feel like we're going to get this off very often. Like even in boss fights, this doesn't feel worth it. By the time you get to a 25 combo, you've got you can't take a turn off to buff. Uh strength agility snowstorm Random enemies? Yes.
Okay, this is, again, a pretty nasty fight. Um... Taking a turn to buff and just get some stuff established before we get into the the grid of it. And that was a problem. trying to remember and I don't think I saved right there. I feel like I was about ready to save and I kept looking for a good spot. That was a good decision. Okay, poisoning the Dark Bishops, because I know that they aren't going to take as much damage from Void. Berserk. Um, I'm actually going to heal all Azumi. Tentacles and Void. Not doing any of the damage over time stuff. Just because we're these those are the that's one of the weaker encounters that you can get. Yeah, I really don't like that particular encounter. So this one, we're actually sticking with the pure blade. Chaos blade would be great if he's using physical attacks, but we should not be using any physical attacks from uh, Sharp. Although I guess we might be able to switch paws out, but probably not yet. Berserk. We'll just toss a heal at Cthulhu just in case.
It's a lot of paths here. And quite frankly, a lot of encounters. Um, we're doing pretty well on our encounter count, as it were. This feels more doable than some of the other ones we were dealing with. Okay, one Dark Bishop down. Uh, focusing them down because they have big AoE. That's really obnoxious. Let's do a heal all. I will also just say I'm really happy. This party is working very well for these overworld encounters. Or not overworld, but dungeon encounters. Random encounters, there we go. Uh, and I was not sure if I was expecting it to work as well as it has. Although I am now noticing how low Umi's MP is. Whoops. So we may be switching her out soon. I think this is where the treasure chest was. Don't we already have that? That's annoying. Dark striking down the knights first. Stun strike. Meow. Boy.
Whoops. I knew that was going to happen, and I was kind of counting on the stun strike to work better than it did. Um, but it, I don't think it actually mattered. <laughs> Hold off. Berserk, blood, meow. Potion October, Flip Sanity, and Void. Cthulhu just does so much damage at this point when uh, Sandy is flipped that it feels worth it. Oh, ready for the rematch? Stop right there, fiend! We have gathered the seven holy crystals and have the power to stop you. Raising relay to the surface, how predictable. Your evil stops here. Wait, he's a good guy. Where are the heroes? Don't bother. The only thing these guys will listen to is a swift kick in the head. Okay, ready? Some intense, uh... Ready for the intense boss fight? So, this is literally the same fight we did at the beginning of the game. <laughs> that was surprisingly easy. Easy indeed. We can't afford to be distracted. We must press on. Okay. And you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this one here. We've got a couple we've, we've got a good chunk of dungeon left. And I'm not sure how much dungeon to boss ratio there is. So, we'll pick back up next time. Hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.